Hey, what's up everyone? This is Jules Leahy here with Guitar and Camera. I'm excited to have a guitar spotlight today on one of my favorite guitars. This is the Jeff Beck model Stratocaster from Fender. It's a really cool guitar. Jeff Beck is one of my all time favorite players. And I actually got inspired to pick up the guitar after I saw Jeff Beck as I was about 11 years old. And I saw Doc Watson play at the Great American Music Hall in San Francisco. And on the way home from the Doc Watson show, Jeff Beck was actually playing at the Warfield. So my dad and I stopped and we saw the show. It was a total surprise. I didn't think I was going to the show. And that night really changed my life. I ended up picking up a guitar shortly after that. Jeff is just one of my biggest heroes. And so I want to show you some of the cool things about his Strat, because there are some unique things that make this guitar really special. So let's dive into it. So there are a lot of parts of Jeff's playing that the guitar really lends itself to. First of all, he uses a whammy bar a ton. That's one of the best features of this guitar. There's this positioning with your right hand that's really important. The pinky kind of wraps itself around the volume so that you can go like this. Right, you're controlling, that's basically, here's zero volume, but I can go to 10. Really quick and easy with my pinky. And while your pinky's rolled around the volume knob, your hand kind of holds the whammy bar. You don't have to all the time, but when he's doing things with the whammy bar, this is kind of like the, the Jeff Beck ready position. And with this, you can do things that we're really familiar with. I'm gonna use his tune, Brush With The Blues, from the album Who Else, as just an example that I'm gonna kind of quote from and just sort of play in that style of to show you some of the things that this guitar can do. So here we go, here are some uh, Brush With The Blues types of licks. <laughs> So these are, um, you can hear I'm doing some volume swell stuff. Because what Jeff does is he might, he might futz with pedals a little bit, but he's usually just got his amp cranked. And the tone here, when you have your volume all the way up, that's like your full bore, fully distorted mode. And if he wants to clean up, all he does, instead of hitting a bunch of pedals on and off, just roll back on the volume knob. So this is a great example of how dirty it can be. <laughs> Or if I just roll, all I'm doing, roll the volume back, maybe about halfway, check out how clean this gets. Right, it cleans up a lot. We can get cleaner from there, but that the relative dirtiness versus the clean that tone that we just got there is so great from just rolling the volume back a little bit. So that's kind of like, one of the most important things as far as getting any sort of Jeff Becky type of sounds. Let me show you a couple of these um, whammy bar flicks and flutters and things that we associate with Jeff. There are so many things. He's really, a lot of the time he's trying to emulate like a harmonica, like a blues harp player playing some blues. And, and so let me show you, I'm actually gonna kick my wah pedal on and I'm gonna just do some B minor. I, I'm tuned down a half step. So this sounds B flat, but you'll notice I'm playing in the seventh fret. So it sounds B flat. Check this out. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna try to get some Jeff Becky uh, harmonica type of licks, and let's talk about what I'm doing to get that, okay? <laughs> Thank you. 
So really there's this, um, with the wah pedal, uh, something that Jeff does a ton is he, he gets this, it's like in the middle of the range of the wah and you get these harmonics to pop. Like I'm gonna find this sort of sweet spot. Check this out. See how there's just like, it's like cutting. It sounds like an old uh, harp player playing with like a green bullet mic. It's, it sounds, it's crapping up. It's distorting in the way that we want. So let me show you a couple of these flickers and things I'm doing. And the point with all these videos on guitar and camera is you can just rewatch this over and over, okay? So if I'm moving too fast or anything, just go back and watch it again. You can even slow the video down to three quarters speed, half speed, you can speed it up. So please feel free to do that. You can always leave a comment. You can ask a question in the comments below, but this is a tool for you to just watch over and over and hopefully pick something up for your own playing. So now here's what I'm doing. I'm, uh, I'm holding the wah, or sorry, I'm holding the whammy bar with my pinky. Um, it's very sensitive on this guitar. So it, let's, let's say I'm gonna go like, I'm gonna just focus on uh, this one note right here. <laughs> And watch, if I, I can swoop into a note, I can flick the whammy bar. Um, that's a really cool one that is used a lot. Just kind of getting in and out of the notes, taking the frets away is really important. It's kind of like splitting the difference between playing a fretless guitar and um, playing slide. Jeff's definitely trying to make, he wants to get rid of the frets. It doesn't, he doesn't want his playing to sound like, like just, I don't know, all the 12 notes. He wants to get in all the nooks and crannies that the whammy bar and bending the strings help you do. Now check this out. I wanna show you one, one more thing with this guitar. And one of our favorite things of Jeff's playing is, uh, he really plays ballads with an incredible touch and just this finesse that's incredible. So this is a teeny bit of um, a tune of his called Where Were You? And I'm just going to play it a little bit, show you this one really cool whammy bar dive. That's a, a wonderful thing to practice and will definitely Im improve your technique if you really work on it. But check this out. Here's way up high, nice and soft, lots of volume swells, a little bit of Where Were You? So this last little whammy bar dive, I'm hitting the, uh, boy, which fret is that? That's the 19th fret. It's way up here on the G string. Letting that note ring and then check this out. This one's a doozy. This is a lot, this requires a lot of practice because we're not just going willy nilly any note. He's playing melodically here. You go up a whole step, back down below the note that we first hit by a half step and you do this little like scale wise thing. So let me show you slowly and try to get this one under your fingers. Try it one more time. So that's a, <laughs> just that lick alone takes a lot of work. Anyway, those are some of my favorite parts of Jeff's playing. This guitar is really awesome. If you're ever um, curious about it, I, I really do think that some of these signature model guitars offer a lot of what makes like this Jeff Beck Strat. A lot of his tone and a lot of his sound come from these great pickups, the whammy bar set up the way it is. Um, the roller nut here is great because the strings don't get caught. So you can do all sorts of The guitar is still, I mean, I just, I just took it there and back and the guitar is still pretty in tune. So anyway, I have nothing but great things to say about this guitar. I really appreciate you checking out the video and our channel today. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. I will personally respond. I want to engage everybody. This is definitely a community where we can ask questions and learn from each other. And hopefully you learned something great from this video. So please, if you haven't already subscribe to our channel so that you get all the videos when they come out. 
and uh, hope, hope you picked up a thing or two from this and have a great day. Catch you next time.